In the next few minutes, we'll introduce you to how Fast Track can help your organization achieve more with Office 365. We'll share the success factors that get value quickly, the tools and materials to help you build and execute a great success plan, and how you can get more help from the Fast Track team. Success with Office 365 is about more than just making the technology available to your people. It's about whether it's helping them achieve business goals. Through our work with thousands of successful customers, we're sharing the good practices we see through Fast Track so you can use them in your organization. We see there's four success factors that tend to make a big difference. They are stakeholders. How do you get the right people involved in the project? That's people both across the business and within IT. Scenarios. How does the technology solve real business problems? How can you help your people do work differently? Describing Office 365 in the context of someone's day-to-day -day work will help make it more relevant and exciting for them. Awareness. How do you get people aware the service is coming, and how do you get them excited for it when it arrives? And then training. When they're excited and they want to use the service, how do you give them the skills that they need to be able to get more with Office 365? We help you with these success factors in two ways. We've got user adoption resources and guidance available to download for free on fasttrack.office.com. And we can work through each success factor with you as part of your engagement with the Fast Track Center. So let's take a tour of what's available on the site to help with these four success factors. The materials you're looking for will be available in the Envision and the Drive Adoption sections of the website. When it comes to driving adoption, and stakeholders in particular, we have a stakeholders guide. This includes a simple template of the types of people that you need to bring to the project, and the types of roles that are needed and why you need them. From executive sponsors, to representatives from key business departments, as well as supporting organizations like HR and communications. Think of it as a helpful checklist to make sure that you've got the right people involved in the project for your organization. When it comes to scenarios, they're the things that put the product in context. They're the difference between what the product is and what the product is for. For example, saying to your sales team that you can use OneDrive for their documents is very different to saying to them, We've given you this place so you can work together on proposals so you don't have to keep emailing the latest version around. It's making the product relevant to what people are trying to achieve. To find the right scenarios for the people in your organization, we provide three things. There's five core scenarios on the Fast Track website under the Envisions section. Think of these as the five key building blocks that describe what Office 365 can do for you. We also have a productivity library that describes Office 365 in the context of business roles and functions so that you can use those to inspire your people regardless of what their role is. And finally, we provide a simple template that helps you define scenarios for yourself and run workshops within your business units. After you've defined your scenarios, it's all about getting the word out to your people. And that's where awareness planning comes in. Awareness planning is all about communicating to your people what's coming when. It's about getting people excited in the run-up to the launch, and it's about keeping up momentum after the launch has happened. To help you with this, we provide you with several materials on the Fast Track site. The first one is a blueprint awareness plan that lays out some of the key activities that you might want to run that you can adapt to your own needs. The second is a guide on how to run awareness events like buzz days or opportunities for people to get their hands on Office 365 with people in your organization that can tell them about the opportunities that that presents to them. We provide a whole load of communication templates that will support everything from email campaigns to posters on the walls. And we also provide a guide on how to build a champions program, which you'll find is very useful when it comes to maintaining the momentum after you've initially launched. When it comes to training, you have access to a lot of end user training content for Office 365, both focused around the products and the core scenarios that we talked about earlier on. You can use these when it comes to putting together a training plan for your end users. One last thing I wanted to show you was that we provide you with a planning tool so you can record your approach for your rollout. You can combine your approach for the four success factors we've just talked about with any technical tasks you might need to make the service available. Just log into the site to get started. Focusing on these four success factors can help your organization achieve its business goals faster with Office 365. If you need help, any customer who qualifies for a Fast Track Center engagement can work with us to produce their plan for success. You can learn more about this by following the link below. We look forward to working with you and thanks for watching.